You want to talk plants? A couple of summers ago, John and Jackie gifted me a couple of seedlings of this new to me Italian heirloom called tromboncino. Scientific name, Curcubita moscata. Plant family, Curcubitaceae, or Curcubitaceae. Cousins, zucchini, squash, pumpkin, which are in the Curcubita pepo species. Butternut squash and calabaza winter squash are also in the same genus, Curcubita moscata. Both of these species of Curcubita, pepo and moscata, are native to the Americas, mostly Central and South America. Archaeological data suggests that members of the Curcubita genus were originally cultivated for their nutritious seeds, more so than for their fruit. Indeed, these members of the Curcubita may be considered vegetables, but botanically speaking, they are fruits and produce seeds. Tromboncino may be because its shape it looks more like a saxophone than a trombone. It has numerous other common names, as serpentine squash, climbing zucchini, climbing crookneck, zucchetta rampicante, to name a few. Tromboncino vines can grow over five meters long, and even though they produce a lot of tendrons that help the vines grab to the nearby support, they don't easily climb without some help. Their stems and leaves are fairly heavy and large, but they can easily be trained to trellis over a nice sturdy arbor or pergola. As they are very sensitive to cold weather, it is quicker to start seedlings indoors while soil warms up in late spring. Depending on how far north or south you live in the northern hemisphere, plant outside in rich soil in May or June. Keep well watered and provide plenty of space for the very large plants. In about six to eight weeks, you will enjoy the very large yellow flowers, soon to be followed by long light green fruits. Like most curcubits, it is monoecious, having two different types of flowers. Male flowers that produce stamens and pollen, and female flowers with an inferior ovary, which will become the fruit, which is full of ovules, which will become the seeds. Monoecious comes from Greek and it means one house. Both type of flowers, male and females, are located on the same individual plant, but they are not on the same location as most flowers. Another plant you know well that is monoecious is corn, with tassels being clusters or inflorescences of male flowers producing pollen, and the years being clusters or inflorescences of female flowers producing fruits and seeds. Besides their cool habit as an ornamental vine, tromboncini have fruits that are not only interesting to see either how long or how twisted they get, but they're also delicious, eaten unripe as summer squash or zucchini, as well as winter squash, maybe not as intense and buttery flavor as its cousin, butternut squash. Tromboncino or trombocini is more watery than butternut squash, but still great to use anywhere you want to add more fiber and healthy phytonutrients. The young fruit is soft and thin enough to make zoodles, delicious with your favorite marinara sauce. Like most summer squash, they are delicious once infused with flavors, and they are very versatile. They are great fried, sautéed, in quiche, baked, in bread dough, and even cakes similar to zucchini or apple cake. It can even be a good replacement for milk into cakes. Great baked together with other vegetables and good seasoning, and then blended and made into a dip or ready for a cream soup of vegetables. Our first year growing trombocini I only had to fight the squash beetle a little. Sadly, halfway through the second year growing it, the very large, already producing vines succumbed to the relentless squash beetles. My only fight against these very pesky pests is to keep checking the leaves daily to remove adults, eggs, and larvae, or plant later in the season, or don't plant every year. 
Why should you consider adding thrombocino to your life? Almost ornamental plants provide beautiful large leaves and flowers and then fruit that you can enjoy in summer, fall, and winter. If you don't have the space to grow your own thrombocino, when you have the opportunity, add it to your nutrition. Like most curcubits, squash and winter squash, they are low in calories and rich in dietary fiber. Dietary fiber promotes a healthy gut flora with multiple health benefits. Thrombocino squash are a good source of potassium, calcium, iron, zinc, and omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants such as vitamin A and C, as well as beta-carotene. Beta-carotene, as well as vitamin A and C, may help slow the progression of macular degeneration and can protect the skin from the damaging effect of UV light, improving skin health. Foods rich in vitamin C can also help prevent cataracts and can play a role in growing and repairing tissue. Squashes in general also provide vitamin B6. More vitamin B6 in your nutrition can help prevent depression. Incredible to believe, but I could not find any cautions. I hope you're ready to explore growing and adding more curcubits, including thrombocino, to your life. Mm -hmm.